<clears throat> All right, uh, we're here at the uh, CFSB Center uh, following the racers' loss to SIU. We've got uh, guard Quincy Anderson here, and he can take your questions at this time. Quincy, obviously, SIU, a terrific basketball team, preseason top four. What is it in the second half that made them so tough to defend? Uh, I think it was just their attention to detail, the way they executed on the stretch. Um, we played hard, you know, we played some solid defense, but, you know, down down the stretch, you also see we gave up a couple of offensive rebounds that resulted in kick out threes. So um, in a game like that, you can't really afford mistakes like that. So um, I think that's kind of where we, um, that's kind of where we slipped up. We actually, I mean, I thought we, we played really hard. We came back, you know, we, we fought hard, but like I said, in a game like that, it's just, you know, it's just too meticulous. Too meticulous. You can't make mistakes like that. So well, it seemed like y'all were playing pretty tough defense. They were just making shots. It looked mm -hmm. like. Yeah, you know, and this is college basketball. You got a lot of good players out there, so um, that's why it's just all the more important that we we play like that for forty minutes. So, what was the difference uh, offensively between the first and second half? Um, you know, I think offensively in the second half we kind of just got going. We got playing playing our game. First half we couldn't really run in transition as much as we wanted to, but um, I think in the second half we kind of just took our time. Uh, RP hit some big shots, obviously for us, and that kind of opened up the floor for other people too. Um, but uh, I think it's. It's still uh, not necessarily where we want it to be. We got to make sure that we're executing at a little bit higher level in order to win games like this. So that's something we'll go back and work on. But um, I'm looking forward to it because I think we can do it. Quincy, I know it was a missed dunk, uh, and we don't really celebrate missed dunks, but that was an extremely aggressive drive from you that nearly brought the rim down. I, is that part of your game, or is that something you're just trying to flash, getting the legs underneath you, or where, well, where does that come from? No, I mean that's that's me. Um, lately, <laughs> lately my legs been a little sore, but. That's that's who I am, and I think uh, over the last few games, I've I've missed bunnies, and those are probably ones I should have done too. Um, but that's just a mindset for me. Um, going back from a few years ago, if I can dunk the ball, I'm dunk the ball, and I think me just being more aggressive going downhill, that's just kind of the result of it. Um, it doesn't. I don't think about it in the moment. I just know that you know if I'm going, I'm gonna go. Um, I don't want to be denied. I'm not gonna be denied regardless who's there. So yeah, obviously we don't celebrate missed dunks, but um, it is what it is. I think, um, yeah, it's just something that happened. All right. Thanks, Quincy. I appreciate, appreciate it. Guys. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, guys. You are finished. Appreciate yeah. the night, then. All right, Rob. All right, the junior Rob Perry joins us now. I didn't even, I haven't seen the final box. We're going to finish up. Yeah, 26. 26 tonight. Really shot the ball well. He can take questions at this time. Rob, what was the difference tonight? You've been struggling a little bit with the shot last few games. What was going on tonight? Uh, tonight, my teammates were just fine. Me, coach was calling it the right sets. I was just more aggressive tonight. So there's between all the games. Uh, not playing to the defense, just taking what the defense giving me. So I think it's like pretty much opened up and up for me. And my team up to get involved with the high end. Rob, you guys took care of the basketball tonight for the most part, and uh, some shots were falling in the second half, but it's like two or three games in a row now where you're kind of in the late 50s, early 60s uh, in scoring when there was the ball was falling in the basket a lot more early on. What do you think needs to happen to kind of get the offense a little more uh, uh, mobile? Yeah, we got to push our pace more in transition. We can't play to the level of the defense. You know, they want to play half-court offense, but we got to, you know what I'm saying, speed the game up a little bit. So we can't play to the defense, you know, credit to them, how they play and how they stopped us trying to get out of transition. But moving forward, we just got to play in transition, you know what I'm saying, make reads like that. So we can't be, you know what I'm saying, less stagnant on offense. But overall, we just got to, you know what I'm saying, be faster with the ball and move better with our pace. You guys got the first basket seven minutes into the game, like six and a half minutes in the game. I believe it was a U, I think, with a jumper. What is it that maybe gets you guys down to a faster start? What do you think it is? Man, I just really think it's just us in our heads, you know. We having the shots, we're missing them, and, you know, we're executing. But thing is, we can't let them come down and execute on us, and we not, you know what I'm saying, come back down and get something done. So we just got to get out of our heads more. You know, we got to all stick together and stay together and just believe in one another to make the shot or get the stop that we need down there on the defensive end. So I just think it's just coming together and, you know, over time, right now so, so we're, we're right now we're even kill where we need to be so just over the time as we get better in practice and grow and develop I think that'll come with just us preparing each day to get ready of course Rob y'all are hope for eight starting now what they're saying but you weren't really too far behind because that's how you couldn't hit anything either um 
y'all feel like y'all left some on the table there, you could have gotten a lead on them. Definitely left a lot of shots on the table tonight. You know, as coach was reiterating us in the locker room, just a couple bunnies we missed, you know, a couple shots that we missed that, you know what I'm saying, we should make. But you got to get credit to them again on the defensive end. So, you know, they kind of help miss help us miss shots. So, and they, you know what I'm saying, great credit to them. So it was good on their part. Looking at the defensive issue, it didn't seem like they were playing terrible defense as a team. <laughs> they would miss a lot of shots, but it felt like four worse the turnovers in the game total in one than the second half. What's your kind of takeaway from the defense tonight? Man, we competed on defense. I got to give up, you know what I'm saying, credit to the defensive end tonight. You know, we fought. We gave up 26 first half points. You know, I'm not sure the second half, but you know what I'm saying? we played good. We just – we got to execute better down there in the offensive end. You know, we – Gave up some and then we gave it right back. But moving forward, we can't keep trading buckets. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be able to lock in and just get stops when needed. So I think tonight was one of those nights where, you know what I'm saying? We had shots falling. We had shots missed. They had shots fall. We had shot missed. But you know what I'm saying? They were a disciplined team and got stops when needed. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate it. Thank you, Rob. We'll have Coach Bill back in just a minute.